Hey guys, my name is Matsumio, and today I'm excited to say that we now have official confirmation that there is going to be a brand new Rainbow Six game called Quarantine. At the E3 Ubisoft conference, they showed a short little teaser trailer, which is what you guys are seeing right now, and from the looks of it, it is essentially going to be the Outbreak DLC that we experienced in Rainbow Six Siege about a year ago, but it is going to be a three-man co-op with its own story to tell. Now, what we do know so far is that while it is going to be its own unique unique game. I don't think that this is going to be a free update to Siege. It is going to be something that you have to buy on the side. They are going to share a lot of similarities. For example, there is going to be destruction. You're going to be able to use that to flank and hit the enemy from a different angle. There's also going to be these same weapon mechanics, or at least they're going to be very similar. The ones that we've grown to love, that is going to be infused into quarantine. There's also obviously, if you paid attention to the trailer, going to be the same operators from Rainbow Six Siege. As you guys will notice, there was Ella and uh, Vigil that were helping this guy on the floor. Now, what remains to be seen is will they have the same kinds of gadgets? They have confirmed that gadgets are going to be in the game. There is going to be that class dynamic where you have to bring the right operator for the right situation or to fit your play style, but it's odd that they would include Vigil in this teaser. If it's anything like the Outbreak content, you're essentially going against zombies. And as we all know, Vigil's gadget hides him from cameras. And so I don't really know how his gadget is gonna have any usefulness whatsoever. Now, maybe this is just the tip of the iceberg and this is hinting at something larger. Maybe we aren't just going against zombies. Maybe there is some other faction here that is causing this to happen. And so you need to use his gadget to be able to get into situations or to get into places that normally would be not as accessible. It'd be much more harder just to kind of brute force your way on in. That is a distinct possibility. It also makes me think that if that's actually not the case, that they're not going to be carbon copies of Rainbow Six Siege. Maybe they have different gadgets in here. They're supposed to be the best of the best. They are these elite operators. And so while their gadget might work one way in Rainbow Six Siege, that may not be the case in Quarantine. It remains to be seen. Now, as for the actual gameplay itself, I can only imagine that it's going to be very similar to the Outbreak event, which you guys are seeing right now. You're going to fight hordes of different types of enemies. You have your standard ones that get taken out very quickly, and then you have your more specialized ones like the Behemoth and the Apex that makes things more challenging. The hope that I do have, though, is that they are going to give us way more variety in the kinds of zombies that we're going against. If this is going to be a PvE co-op experience, the variety is going to be the spice of life. If they only give us a couple of more from the Outbreak content, I can't imagine this lasting all that long. And so I'm crossing my fingers that they are going to bring something more, either having a wide variety of different zombies to go against, or like we talked about earlier, maybe there is a faction that you're trying to stop that is also going to mix up that kind of gameplay. The one thing that I do really want from this game, though, is a complete story and one that expands upon the characters that we've grown to love. You've already shown that there's going to be Ella and Vigil. In the promotion art, it looks like there is Lion in there. Now, I don't think that they're going to have every single operator in Rainbow Six Siege represented here. I doubt that's going to be the case. We already have a lot, and to get all of their gadgets to work in this kind of scenario, in this context, probably just simply wouldn't work. But if you're able to narrow it down and bring us a complete story surrounding a specific amount of operators, that's all I want. I want to know more about Ella. That's one of the things I loved about the Outbreak content. Seeing Tachanka interact with Thermite was amazing. These are characters that we've grown to love, but we really don't know a whole lot about them. And so even though that this is more of a fantastical event, it's kind of outside the realism that the game franchise has kind of been known for, if you're able to actually delve into their backstory and give us more of these characters, that is something that I really want. Maybe Maybe I'm asking too much. Maybe this really is just going to be a co-op experience with a loose story that basically just justifies you going from different area to different area. But if they can actually give us a cohesive story, especially considering this is one of the biggest critiques that people had with Outbreak was that all these cinematic trailers were awesome, but there wasn't like a conclusion. There, there wasn't really an overarching storyline that we could kind of seek our teeth into. 
if if they can deliver that, uh, I'm going to be one happy camper. One thing that is worth noting, because I've already seen some criticism about the game pop up, is that this is its own development studio. If you think the developers that are working on Rainbow Six Siege have been pulled away to work on this, apparently that's not the case. They have their own team, they're working maybe alongside with them, they're going to collaborate because obviously they share similarities, but it is going to be its own dev team, and so hopefully that isn't going to take anything away from the actual content that we get for Rainbow Six Siege. Overall though, I'm really excited to learn more about this game. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Rainbow Six Siege, I love the gameplay itself, and if they're able to infuse that into a co-op experience, bring us a story that's actually interesting, a lot of unit variety, this could be a really fun game to experience with friends. I'm not expecting it to be groundbreaking revolutionary, but it could be a lot of fun. We are going to have to wait and see. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is what it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. What I do find funny about this entire thing is that it basically confirms that we, the player base, were essentially the testers or the guinea pigs to see if this was something that Ubisoft wanted to pursue. And honestly, it makes sense. Ubisoft spent a lot of time and investment on the Outbreak content, and a lot of people, me included, were quite puzzled that this wasn't something that they were going to bring back into Rainbow Six Siege. Especially considering that they've been doing these events every once in a while, a lot of us thought that it would see a return. They have confirmed that wasn't the case, and so many of us were thinking, why put so much effort into it if there was only going to be that brief window to actually enjoy said content? Now we know they had plans for something more, and so it's good to see that that time and that all of that development didn't go to waste. Let me know what you thought about this reveal, though. Are you excited to get your hands on a brand new Rainbow Six game? Are you not really sold on the theme? Are you a bit hesitant? Let me know down below in the comments. Uh, but yeah, guys, until next time, have a good one, and take it easy.